Hey, it's me, Cynthia. I am she, and this is the third take of this video. I am not saying east side. Or would that be that way? I don't know. Hmm. I'm rocking my UNT sweatshirt, sweat coat, sweat jacket, something. And uh, it is 79.5 Fahrenheit outside. So I can do whatever I want. I'm actually hiding a black shirt because I always wear a black shirt in videos. So I was trying to mix it up a little bit. Look at his little face right here. His little face. Yeah, he keeps barking because my people next door are coming home or whatever they're doing. All right, so Mark's parents were here for a week and we went to the link. So if you guys ever come to Las Vegas, you have to go to the link. It's where the high roller is, that big, huge Ferris wheel thingy observation tank. I don't know what they call it. Observation wheel. Whatever. But um, you can totally take the kids. I would say during the day where people are less drunk. Um, it's all enclosed. like not a dome over it or anything. But it's a, it's a street kind of like Disneyland. And there are shops on either side. And the street you can actually walk on. Um, they have Giardelli's. A cupcake store. A candy store. A Polaroid store where you can upload your your camera pictures and they'll, um, they'll, what the hell happened? A light just went out. Thanks, Mom. Um, they'll transfer your photos to Polaroid pictures. Um, not the actual photos, but Polaroid style with a, a frame back, something like that. It's super cool. Whatever it is, it's super cool. Um, you can Google the Polaroid store. Um, we went to the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesar's Palace. If you're ever going to go to that buffet, it's 60 bucks a head, and it's totally worth it. Totally, like, they're, they're uh, known in the 80s and 90s uh, for their gourmet Chinese food. And the, over time, people started coming less and less, I guess, because of uh, the recession and stuff. So they took the kitchen, the chefs, and they moved them to a great, big, huge buffet. So it's a regular buffet. It's all super top shelf stuff. But um, their Chinese food is the best. Also, if you're starving and you don't want to wait in the three hour long line, if you go to the VIP line, nobody knows this. If you go to the VIP line, they'll charge you an extra $20 and you get right in. So uh, don't be cheap, dude. Don't be cheap. So uh, my sister celebrated my birthday with me. Um, I invited them out for pizza, um, so they brought me some presents. This is from my big sister, and it's witches. I can never... Can you see the witches? There's a witch. I hope that's not Mark. No, it's not. It's not. It's not him. It's not. Okay, so I got that from my big sister. She said uh, they sell them at Kohl's. And uh, I forget where else she said. I only know Kohl's, the most, the most is this. Um, she also got me Halloween cup, permanent cup, and some candy corn. And my little sister got me from my Halloween village. Super cool. The glare is terrible. And... <clears throat> I don't know if he lights up or anything. I don't know. And more zombies. And the black cat uh, adoption. And Halloween bag, which will be going on my wall. So uh, we spent the week with Mark's parents every waking moment. And then we celebrated my birthday, and then uh, coming home Friday night, the curse of Mark and Cynthia strikes again. Um, my old neighborhood, about four to six houses down, there was a double homicide in the garage. Um, the owner, well, the renter, head renter of the house, <coughs> um, took his two roommates who weren't paying him his drug money and uh, made them kneel down in the garage and shot him in the head. So that was that. Um, and now, 2014, we came home Friday night with Mark's parents, and there was 
crime scene cops and tape and pictures and chalk and all sorts of stuff. So they wouldn't let us into our development. Um, they, they did go around the back and cut some secret gates uh, with a bolt cutter so the homeowners could get in. Other than that, nobody was allowed in or out. <clears throat> and I wonder how everybody figured out how to get in. Everybody had to have stopped and asked a cop. Hmm. Well, so there was that. Um, the story goes that a girl <clears throat> and her friend were pulled over at the side of the road to our development and they were waiting for some fellows and the fellows arrived on foot and the driver knew them and she was fighting with one of the guys and he shot her and the fellows ran away and the girl died the next day. And <clears throat> so uh, having said that, that was Friday night, she died Saturday morning and Saturday night we went out with his parents and when we came home, there were cars lined up and down the street, all everywhere. And when you pull into our development, you go down a street, a normal street, and then you turn down to get to our gates, and it dead ends. And then there are two walls, and behind those walls are our secret gates. So that's where we go in. There's one for this development and one for that. So it's a complete dead end. Well, we pull in, and all of the girls' friends for the vigil are all in black, and they're all lined up on the sidewalk, on the edge of the sidewalk. It's not just where they happen to be. They were lined up, because there were only about 30 of them. So they're all in black, all lined up in a row, and they're all holding a candle each. And they're just creeping everybody out. And uh, so we didn't like that. And then when Mark's parents were leaving in their own car, um, they... Uh, like 50 more kids showed up and the whole dead end cul-de-sac thing was full of kids and they wouldn't move for his parents. So imagine their fright being freaked out by the creepy kids with the candles and then nobody's letting them move. So it's like, oh my God, the creepy kids are going to kill us because they're from Wisconsin and they've never lived anywhere other than La Crosse and Madison, Wisconsin and that's where all the nice people come from. So they were terrified and they did not want to come back. <laughs> but <clears throat> to make it less, less terrible, they did bump into a lot of prostitutes and um, panhandlers, which they're not used to. And I don't remember, I think his dad witnessed a car going up in flames and the gay pride, <laughs> the gay pride parade was on Fremont Street that night. Um, that was either, yeah, it had to be Saturday night when they came back. Maybe, maybe it was a different day, I don't know, but one of the nights that they were here, they got to witness that, and his mom said that like most of the men were like wearing like nothing, like teeny tiny shirts, if they even bothered with that, no G-strings. So his mom was a little taken aback by that, and uh, <laughs> so that, that was awesome. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and that, that's all. Um, I still haven't gotten to work on my Halloween room, because today is my first free day to myself after work, and uh, <clears throat> I've spent the past hour trying to make this video for you guys. So, <clears throat> oh, my, my boss let me give away 12 of my accounts. So I gave away my biggest and my most annoying ones. So work sh should be, uh, you know, it's a shame because the list that I wrote out, <clears throat> um, I wrote like nice things like, I like so-and-so, this is my friend, and blah, 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 don't, don't give this one away. Well, like three of the people that I asked to keep called up and were like really nasty to me. So I was like, great, great. The list is final. The guy's already transferred all my accounts and now I kept a bunch of trash that I should have given away. So now I can't transfer those people to other people. I had a chance. I was, I was that close to Utopia. <coughs> River's gonna start again. So that is all. I'm almost done with horns 
and it's still just eh. But I'm gonna finish it. So I have on Goodreads, I have a my goal for 2014 is to read 10 books. So I'm only like five books in. So I'm running out of time here, guys. Alright, well, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful everything. And I have a I have a Twitter account. I don't remember what it is. I think it's I am she 101, but it's E Y E A M S H E 101. I'm not sure though. Um, I'm just learning how to use. I've had the account for like two years, but I'm just learning. I'm just getting into it. So I'm following weird people because I don't know anybody and I don't know how to find people. And so, whatever. All right. Well, I'm leaving now and I'm going to make salmon again. I just, uh, I realize I always wear a black shirt and I'm always making salmon. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Ruger's sick of it. He's sick of it. Oh, goodness. All right. See you later. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful everything. Oh, Dublin's coming too. You're Dublin too. All right. Bye.